Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Life News Channel. The story for today is the Countess of Wessex stunned in New York on Monday, arriving at the Queen Elizabeth II Garden in Lower Manhattan in a seriously slick cream coat and chic houndstooth scarf. The 57-year-old royal looked stunning in a cream longline coat that cascaded to her ankles. Featuring an oversized collar and double-breasted button detailing, Sophie's coat was the perfect outerwear for a crisp spring day in the city, and were desperate to emulate her effortless style. The wife of Prince Edward teamed her look with black leather pointed toe heels, adding coordinating black leather gloves to finish her ensemble. Countess Sophie styled her blonde hair in a sleek low ponytail, highlighting her pretty features. Amping up the glamour, the royal added a royal blue mascara, light bronzer and subtle pink lip. Sophie looked seriously chic in a gorgeous cream ensemble, Sophie made a style statement with oversized oval studs in brilliant orange, opting for a brown crop print clutch handbag, what a look. If the recent sunshine has you convinced summer is just around the corner, you might want to think again. The spring chill is here to stay for now, and we're taking our style inspiration from Sophie's elegant cream coat for our wardrobe. Though we're not certain where the royal's exact coat is from, you'll love these incredible high street lookalikes. While in New York City, the Countess will deliver the keynote address at an event at the United Nations headquarters on upholding women's rights in Afghanistan. As a global ambassador of 100 women in finance, the Countess will also undertake engagements in support of gender equality in the workplace, as well as celebrating Commonwealth Day. The Countess of Wessex is committed to championing the role of women in conflict resolution, through the Women, Peace and Security WPS, agenda. The United Nations initiative not only recognizes the disproportionate impact of conflict on women and girls, but promotes the equal participation of women in peace-building processes. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.